pleasure. Thank you, Edwin, uh, Reverend Edwin. Shout out to all the panelists. Shout out to everybody who was watching us today and uh, for the preachers for laying down the word and a special shout out to Reverend Francois for explaining to us the truth about money and building economic coalitions and uh, you know what America stands for. And just to close it out on the things that I've heard, I was, I was reminded of W.E.B. Du Bois and when he said in the souls of black folk that he famously reflected that to be a poor man is hard, but to be a poor race in a land of dollars is the very bottom of hardships. Racism anchors the socioeconomic divide between the 1% from everyone else. And it also fuels capitalism, selective democratization, creating pathways of mobility and economic self-reliance for some rather than for everyone. Our sacred text informs us that Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. And what we've heard today are the tools that will move our people to a higher socioeconomic, social network, socioeconomic status, social networks, granting access to our people who desperately need it. Access means healthcare, education, jobs, and freedom economically, mentally, and physically. Economic justice is the thought that the economy will be better if it is more fair and equitable. Our goal is to create opportunities for everyone to thrive. Justice and economics go hand in hand. And so to everybody listening, follow the plan. Today we learned about following the right Jesus and not the white Jesus. We have learned how to be homiletically responsible and using our platform to empower people. And there is a collective power when we form coalitions and we have the same language and the same voice. And so my closing words are these, we are not waiting for a hero, we are the heroes. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you said that you will open up the windows and pour us out a blessing. Lord, you have given us all the tools that we need in order to redeem, in order to lift, and in order to strengthen our communities. And so Lord, I'm praying for every preacher that the power of the Holy Spirit will fall upon them. And that God, that they would have courage to speak truth to power, and it also courage to act and to walk boldly in the strength that you have given to us. Thank you for this panel. Thank you for every uh, 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 comment that was made through the listeners and the watchers. And we pray, Lord, that we'll do exactly what you want us to do. We thank you for hearing this prayer in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.